Honorable House Chair, the Department of Science and Innovation is a rare island of excellence in South Africa. It starts right at the top, where the Director General is an excellent scientist and has been recognized with the title of South African Science Legend. It trickles down to the entities where, as the name of the department suggests, science and innovation is pursued on a very high level. The value of that has been underpinned with the coordination by the CSIR of the country's innovative and homegrown fight against a pandemic, which also focused, uh, forced us to discuss an emergency adjustment budget today. We are discussing a total budget, original budget, of some 8.8 .8 billion rand. That is slightly less than the amount lost by the Department of Higher Education and, uh, and Training due to the suspension of the skills levy as a result of the lockdown. If the combined effect of the Academy of Science, the SA National Space Agency, the HSRC, the Technology Innovation Agency, the NREF and the CSIR is compared with the combined effect of all the CETAs funded by the skills levy, one wonders what could have been done. Or for another comparison, if just another 9 billion rand could be taken from the Department of Social Development's 192 billion budget, what rate of independence rather than dependence could have been reached? It could have increased the national resilience against future disasters endlessly. But we do not have that. We have a budget cut of slightly less than 1.8 billion rand in total from this well-performing department pass on to each of its entities. In terms of money, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research is the biggest loser, with just below 100 million rand being lost, and the National Research Fund with a cut of 96.6 million rand shortly on its heel. The NRF is responsible for the support of postgraduate students and several programs to transform science and the academy in South Africa. In that, Agbara is versatile as a problem with projects that are not in the revolution. The name of revolutionary thinkers is that everything that before the revolution has been in the revolution has been in the revolution, so that the new glorious reality of the ass can be raised. The people who have been in the previous building have to be in the revolution, because there is nothing more than the underdrukkers that are in the revolution. Every entity is to be in the revolution and how far the path is is. Waar het moeilijk is, wordt nieuwe entiteiten gestig. Wat van die begin af dinge recht kan doen, soos die CETA's, wat tot vandag toe nog nie uit die wegspringblokke kon kom nie. Toe die grendelstaat begin het, was daar een tintelende opwinding onder sekere collega's in die huis, wat met self oor Zoom kon aanvoel. Nou gaan die wit ekonomie planke toegestuur word, so dat een gelijke en rechtverdige ekonomie kan opstaan. Wat is die werkelijke gevolge in hierdie departement? Die NRF se programme wat op komende swart akademiese en wetenskaplike se loopbane op een vinniger traject moes plaas, se fondse word die ergste besnoei. Die ongelijkheid word nie kleiner nie, dit word groter. Verder word aanstellings gevries en salarisverhoogings is eers opgeskoord. Dit is by entiteite wat voor die tijd reeds verklaar het, dat hulle moeilik kompeteer om mense met die nodige kennisvaardigheid en ervaring te bou. Hierdie is mense wat in Suid-Afrika werk, om hulle te omdat hulle aan die land en die vaste land verbonde is. Hulle is Afrikaner, Afrikaans, of hulle wit, zwart, bruin of van Indiese afkomst is. Oor die algemeen kan hulle werk waar hulle wil en hulle wil hier werk, maar toe neemend kan hulle nie. Maar dit is die aard van die noodbegroting. Anders is wat die revolutionaires dink, as jy alles plat slaan, bevoordeel jy die wat vooraf reeds in die sterk positie was en jy benadeel die swakker is. Geen staatsinmenging gaan dit omkeer. Hierdie begroting kan in die toekomst uitgewees word as die kantelpunt, die oomlik waarop Zuid-Afrika sy vermoe om op die A-veld van wetenskap en innovatie saam te speel, verloor het. Verder wil ek verwees na die SKA en die directe belegging in die Noordkaap waarna die minister verwees het. Daar die belegging is oor die algemeen dinge wat elders gemaakt en dan in die Noordkaap geïnstalleer word. The observatory in Sutherland is celebrated in Sutherland, but the SKA is not celebrated in Carnarvon or Williston, where economic opportunities has thus far not realized. I hope that that would change and to turn the Val University Technology, University of Technology's campus in Uppington as a full-fledged University of Technology with Afrikaans as a medium of instruction will vastly uh, contribute to transforming the lives 
of the poorest of the poor inhabitants of the Northern Cape. Thank you, Mr. Chair.